All right. Who are you? I'm Anansi, a musician, a composer, band leader, a bit of an entrepreneur with Steam Down, which is my main project at the moment. Um, play saxophone, produce, play keys. That's a lot of things. <laughs> so you yeah. you were uh, was interviewed here uh, six years ago, something like that, maybe longer. And a lot of things have happened in the meantime, I guess, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's get right into it. Um, people who want to know more about you or, or your influences can go and check out the previous interview. Yeah. Um, so let's jump straight into your work with uh, United Vibrations. Yeah. So um, with United Vibrations, we've recorded three albums here at Mini Music Company. Um, it's kind of a bit of history, actually, in Deptford and South East, South London. Um, and I guess, yeah, Mini Music has just been the place for us to really kind of like hone our skills and and really is kind of taking me onto my next venture which is steam down at the moment all right um and yeah so that's uh, again deptford based um started off in buster mantis which is around the corner but now is that matchstick pie house mm -hmm. it's every wednesday it's a weekly event and now really is also a band um kind of a collective of eight of us in the core um and we're kind of in the process of recording some new music at the moment yeah so if you had to um i mean obviously music has to be heard to, yeah. so, so you can define it properly but if you have to give someone a, at a networking meeting like an elevator pitch of your current project what would you describe it as i'd describe it as um london music and i'd break that down into grime meets jazz future soul um a left field hip-hop and something unknown something unknown i like it <laughs> at the moment cool so how far is that project um coming along do you have any releases under your belt or any tasters well, people can listen to already or? um well we did an nts session um where you can kind of catch a couple of the our tunes um grandpa and um forward four we're also doing a boiler room energy session mm -hmm. that's going to be coming out soon um probably in the next month so it'll probably be out in june and we'll probably also um, in June, July, have our kind of first single out, Free My Skin. Okay. Um, other than that, kind of outside of the recording world, in March and April, well, March we did a, a EU tour, um, April we did UK tour, and now we're going into like the festival season till end of August. Cool, man. Um, let's uh, quickly talk about the single then. Yeah. What's well, it about? Um, well, the story behind the single is comes to like comes down to the weekly night. We when I uh, kind of first started a weekly night, I just remember thinking, you know, this is kind of, there's kind of a lot of improvised music, but I always wanted to kind of finish on something that had some aspect of familiarity. So I kind of came up with this horn line and a bit of a bass line, and that's kind of the beginning of it, and it's kind of become a bit of a steam down anthem. So we only seem fitting that that is like the first release. So kind of since then, it's just evolved into kind of a fuller song with kind of all of the members of the collective in it. But that's kind of like the story behind that. Cool. What are your uh, live performances like? What can people expect if they see you live? It depends on where you catch us, you know. Well, you know, if the, it's, the if, boiler room? Well, it's going to be lots of energy. As it says, it's an energy session. But, you know, like we're, we're known to get a bit wild sometimes. At other times, it's, you know, it's like, you know, slow, beautiful music. At other times, it's like what's, hype, energy. What's the wildest thing you've done? Uh, and time to time, I do a bit of stage diving. Stage diving, yeah? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably. Is that ever scary if you don't know people are actually going to catch you? <laughs> you just have to go for it, man. No fear. <laughs> have you had any fails where you've fallen on the floor? Um, I landed like a spider recently. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's because people were prepared. It was in the Great Escape in Brighton. But it was quite funny. I, um, they actually, nobody was prepared. So I just kind of went through the crowd. I landed like, I think like I landed like Spider-Man and then they all picked me up. And then I was like surfing on top of people. It was great. Do you have a, a crowd surfing blooper reel on your website? Oh, no, 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 You know, that's it's for special occasions. So for people who are, who are going to follow you after this, like what's the... Um what can you like what are the milestones for 2019 like what's going to happen this year well mainly this year it's just getting into recording mm -hmm. i think this year we're get, definitely going to be releasing lots of music we've got like a kind of couple of eps prepared and want to kind of record an album so it's going to be a lot of that also we have a live album 
that we recorded at the Albany that we'll be releasing later on in this year as well. So we're just going to be focusing on studio based stuff outside of the gigs. All right. And the okay. shows. Um, and then next year, all the festivals and everything is going to come up. Or? Ooh, well, next year, next year, um, it's just going to expand, you know, it's just going to be a bit more of an expansion. We're kind of planning to, we're probably going to be doing a bit more international touring rather than, um, kind of UK based festivals. I think we're probably going to be around Europe and probably we'll touch America and a couple of other places That's cool. as well. So you're eight people in your group, right? Yeah, in the core. Yeah. In the core group. So you have yeah. even more people to deal with as well. Well, nah, yes and no. Like the it's themed us a bit complicated because it's kind of like a community on mm. one hand. It's an event. It's also a band. There's many kind of umbrellas underneath it. At the moment, we're kind of focused on the band side, which is the eight of us. But um, outside of that, there's a lot of kind of other musicians that like kind of come through that I would say are in the extended family that will kind of come in and out of the project. But like eight people are a lot. I've been in a band with eight people yeah. myself and it's a lot of people to keep track of. Like, do yeah. you have a manager or you the leader? Like, how do you actually make things run smoothly? Man, like the team is expanded now. So yeah, we've got... Um, kind of a management company that we work with um atlas artists and we've also got a kind of on the event side we've got a uh, um kaya milan from off the off balance group she's also a music manager but is working on the kind of more event side of that stuff with us so and we've and we've kind of got you know other people that are kind of doing things in there there's probably like about four to five people in the team yeah. that are helping organize it all right now that's cool man so how long you've you've been doing this like music in general or professionally like what's your how long have you been in the game um i've only been doing music for, for like kind of professionally maybe like 12 years mm -hmm. yeah maybe like 12 years what are the most important lessons you've learned in those 12 years consistency hard work and smart work discipline don't get caught up in the hype um Make sure you stay healthy when you're touring a lot because it will wear you down. Um, and make sure you have time to rest. Like you can sometimes feel like you need to really work and work all the time, but it's as important to rest um, and take care of yourself. I think in terms of building a career in music, I would say half of it is you working on your craft and perfecting that and, you know, making sure that in every area you're always working on developing those skills and improving from a kind of, technical point and also from a feeling point making sure you kind of make sure you keep the feeling in what you do through that process and on the other half of it is learn the music business that's really as simple as it is like yeah. know how managers work with bands know how booking agents work know what a publicist is like know what know what publishing is um there's a whole list of things like no make sure you get your legal stuff done earlier on don't wait until Educate too late yourself. <laughs> yeah there's so many things but like i feel like i have to break down the kind of the general categories it's so important you know to get those things and have an understanding earlier on and make sure before things really kind of kick off that you have those things in place well you know i would love to go more in depth with that with yeah. you um i'm gonna see if we can we can arrange like more in-depth sessions with with some of you who actually understand the music business a bit more but um for now we're gonna have to leave it where can people find you online and keep up with your releases recording schedule and everything that's gonna happen beyond? so we're working with this new platform called the floor mm -hmm. um right now you can go to thefloor.com forward slash steam down yeah and that's our floor um where you can kind of find all different things that we're kind of getting up to it's kind of a new platform which is aimed to kind of um help artists have you know uncompromising creativity to yeah. be kind of completely free and not be limited and it, it, it's kind of free how we use it you know you can get anything in any kind of content form digitally right. on there um other than that you can just check us out on instagram and later on we'll be up on spotify and apple music and all the dsps and it that's it digital, yeah digital streaming services yeah good stuff man thanks so much for your time yeah